Here we go. The first mole catch of the season here, 2019, March 21st. There the blighter is. There he is. Yes, you are. So the church bells are ringing. Heaven knows I caught my first mole. It's a sign from God. What is going on? The Molinator is back. March 21st. We finally had a couple back-to-back -back days of 50 degrees and that's been warm compared to what we've been having lately. We've been dealing with a lot of snow and cold temperatures but uh, this is about the third or fourth day of 50 degree weather and I have the day off. So <clears throat> I am going to look for a mole. I'm going to go up to uh, that church that I catch moles at and I also know I do have a mole in my yard that is coming from my neighbor's yard but uh, I need to get with the neighbor and tell her that I want to catch the mole so she could not let her pit bulls out and attack me and I will die trying to catch moles oh you know what I have a I have a mm. I have a love-hate relationship with dogs, especially pit bulls, because everywhere, everyone in this neighborhood has them. And they bark and bark and bark and keep me up all night, all day, and they're just, oh, I can't, gen I can't, I can't generalize, I understand, but every pit bull that I've known, it runs around, it's mean, it kills all the animals in the neighborhood. It's just fact. I live in a rural area, they run around and they kill people's pets and they go after kids and, and homeowners say, oh, they're the sweetest thing. Anyway, not all of them are bad, I know, okay? It's the humans that are bad, right? Right, right, right. Okay. All right, I just wanna try to catch a mole. It's still kinda chilly out. I might not be successful. And um, let's just see if I get lucky. Okay, so right now I am seeing a lot of old surface tunnels that the moles have probably made underneath the snow. And when I step on them, they're hard. You know, they, they, uh, they're not fresh. So I'm just gonna continue to look for fresh surface tunnels. That would be my best hope to find a molar alive and active. Well, that sucked. I did see a mole move, and I, I don't know if I caught it on camera. I don't think I did, but it stopped moving, and then a guy pulls up in his car, and he starts talking to me, and uh, so, you know, I'm just going to leave it. But not much going on over here, for real, for rizzle. Anyway, I might have to come back later, um, and I don't know if you guys know, but my parents do not live in that house anymore. That was, that was my go-to spot for moles. And uh, I need to find new locations. I, I am in contact with her neighbors still, but so I still might go to his house. Anyway, all right. I don't know what to do yet. Okay, came back up to the church where I saw the mole moving and he's not moving. So I am going to move on. And it's been about an hour since I've been here. So I don't know where I'm going next. Well, it looks like I am on my way to my parents. 
old neighbor's house, I guess. My parents do not live there anymore, which is such a bummer. Um, it really was my go-to spot for moles. But I'm going to go check it out and uh, see if there's anything going on over there. Okay, I just arrived at my uh, parents' old neighbor's house. And it looks like I see some mole activity already. So I'm going to check it out. Well, that sucked. I said I saw mole activity, but it was actually old mole activity. So, uh, there's a lot more activity at the church than here. Okay, I'm going to try to church one more time and then uh, call, it, call it a day. Okay, back at the church, and I just stepped on that surface tunnel, and then I walked around the church property, came back, getting ready to get in my car and go home, but I see a mole moving, so I'm going to try to go for it. See him there? Check that out. Nice fat mole blighter. Look at that. Well, I'm gonna check my uh, focus on my camera real quick and get a better view of him. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. The first mole catch of the season here, 2019, March 21st. There the blighter is. There he is. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him. Look at him getting all excited. Yeah. So this is awesome, baby. Let's check you out. Let's check you out. So the church bells are ringing. Heaven knows I caught my first mole. It's a sign from God. There you go. Let's watch a little mole blighter run on that some uh, asphalt here. Let's see how he does.
Okay, so as I look into my car here, got me a bucket. Okay, so I need to get home because I picked up a few items from the grocery store for my wife and we are going to attempt to make a Thailand dish, a beef dish called Nam Tak Beef and it's our first time so I'm excited about that and it's perfect, it's a perfect celebration for my first mole catch. Not only are the angels singing and making music here at the church, but uh, hopefully I'll be having one of my favorite Thailand dishes and it will turn out good. But I have the mole here in my car. Here he is. And uh, I'll take the mole blighter home first, get the food situated, and then I will relocate the mole. I don't want to kill it I want it to have a chance to survive uh, somewhere else, away from homes, uh, away from uh, private property um, land, you know, so I took it out of this church and I'm sure the people at church are very happy and there are many more there, so uh, I'm, I'm excited, but uh, okay. Okay, I have the uh, mole blighter right here. Man. I cannot find a pair of gloves, so I'm just going to pick the mole up with my hand, even though it smells like a big butthole. And uh, one of my daughters is home, so I want to show her the mole. Okay. All right, get the pee out. There you go. But I got a butthole. I caught it just for you. It does smell like one. Want to smell it? No. Go try. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I swear, haters. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay, I am on my way to let the mole blighter go. Um. Normally I have some type of music that I like playing in my car, but YouTube has been a big butthole lately. They have been copywriting me left and right every day, demonetizing videos. Um, you know, I, I get it and I don't. I mean, you guys don't come to my channel to listen to, uh, like, 20 seconds of my music you, you come to look at a mole right so um even playing my music in the car so i'm not playing music right now and i'll just have to find some generic elevator music or something that youtube wants me to play and also i have problems with them just because i mean Because I'm removing a mole from its natural habitat, which is people's front yards, tearing up their lawns, uh, causing property damage, which can eventually cause uh, people to trip and get hurt and hospital bills and everything else. And it's perfectly legal to catch moles, actually to trap moles dead to kill moles that's what all the pest control companies do they do it daily every day they kill them and here i am trying to uh, remove a mole safely just to show you that it is it can be done and it can be very safe and it's very time effective 
I could I could do it like I just did it today. It took a few hours, but I got rid of that mole for that church today. A pest control company, they will stick out, they will put out spike traps, and they have to keep driving using gas and going to the homeowner's home, keep checking on it. I mean, isn't that bad for the environment? All that, all that gas being spent and driving just to check on a trap that never, ever, ever has a mole and you're killing the mole, right? Aren't I doing like better? Isn't that better for the environment and better for the mole and better for everything? But YouTube wants to um, remove videos like mine and others like Sean Woods who traps mice and some other guy, I uh, can't remember his name, but he catches grass with minks, you know just you know quit being a snowflake please I mean come on people please everything offends everyone and I'm tired of it